Hi everyone, so today is Thursday, November 5th, and you are going to be working on your state report day three. Sorry, things are popping up. There we go. Okay, sorry. Anyway, this is going to be the video that walks you through how to do the slides for state report day three. But I wanted to start here so I could show you a couple things on this part of your day. So obviously there's no video over here yet because if you're watching this, I'm creating it right now. Um, today you're going to be working on slides 6, or I'm sorry, 10 through 13, okay? 10 through 13. So if you do not know which state you've been assigned, this is the chart you want to look at to figure that out. So you're going to look for your name, and then that's the state you've been assigned to. Of course, I'm doing Utah because I'm using Utah as the example, and I wanted everybody to kind of pick a different state since we all live here, okay? Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how we're going to do slides 10 through 13 on your paper or on your presentation. Sorry. So when you go to Google, I've already got it pulled up here, you're going to go to your waffle, you're going to click on slides, and we're going to open up the same um, presentation that we've been working on this whole time. We're just going to add some more information to it, okay? So as you can see, once it loads here, I have slides 1 through 9 done. If you do not have slides 1 through 9 done, you need to go back and finish those up before you continue watching this video and adding more slides to it. Um, by the time we're done, we will have a total of 22 slides. So this is about the halfway-ish point, okay, a little more than halfway, I guess. Okay, so go ahead and click on slide number nine, which was the capital city. We're going to add a new slide, title and body, just like we've been doing in the previous videos. And slide number 10 is going to be two famous people, okay? So you're going to type two famous people from and your state, okay? Obviously, since I'm doing Utah, that's why I put Utah. Two famous people from your state. Then you're going to go to Google and you're going to search that. Famous people from, and I'm going to put Utah because I'm, um, I'm doing Utah. Okay, these are some famous people from Utah. Uh, let's see, who do I want to include though? Let's see. Whoops. I clicked on images and I didn't mean to, sorry. Um, please make sure that you um, don't just decide that just because they pull up an image of somebody that they're from Utah, okay? I do know that Roseanne Barr, she is a, um, she's a comedian, okay, and an actress. She is from Utah because I've definitely seen some of her work from Utah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and find an image of her right here. This is who she is, Roseanne Barr, okay? So we're going to go ahead and copy that image, and we're going to paste it, but we also need to put the name of the person in the slide, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my picture. And then, of course, you can just make it a little bit smaller because you do have to put two on here. Okay, so Roseanne Barr is from Utah. And I'm also going to include Donnie and Marie Osmond. They are siblings. I think that's how you spell Osmond. But um, I know for a fact they're from Utah, and they are pretty famous for theater work that they've done. They are a... Um, sibling duo that sings together. He was actually on The Masked Singer. If you watch that show, I absolutely love that show. But if you watch that show, he was on the very first season. So Donnie Osmond is from Utah. I'm going to actually type in Donnie and Marie Osmond because I'm including both of them. Donnie and Marie Osmond, they actually have been pretty famous since they were kids. So this is them right here. So I'm going to include this picture, so I'll copy and I'll paste it whoops, into my presentation, and then I'm going to go ahead and rescale it so that it actually fits on the page nicely, okay? Now again, please make sure you do the research, make sure those people are actually from your state before you just throw people on there, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and insert a new slide. And this time, we are doing um, bordering states. So I'm going to put bordering, 
I'm going to put states bordering Utah. Now what that means is that is the states that are around Utah. And I'm going to want to find a picture of those states and list them. So I'm going to put states bordering Utah. And it's going to come up and there's always going to be, well, there's typically a map that will kind of show you when you put that in. So I, if I look at this one here, here's Utah. I've got Nevada, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona that all border Utah. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the image, paste it into my slide presentation. Um, just scale it down just a tiny bit. And then I'm also going to list those states. So I've got um, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico. We share like a corner with New Mexico. Um, so I guess New Mexico really not doesn't count, but I'm going to put it anyway. Arizona and Nevada. Nevada, just like that. Okay. Those are all the states that are bordering Utah. Okay. Um, I'm going to make this just a little bigger so it's a little easier to see. So you're including a picture along with the names of those states that border your state. Now, for instance, I'm going to use Florida as an example. Florida doesn't have any states that border it down below because of the ocean, but it has all these states up here that border it. Okay, so just be aware that sometimes that's how it works. Um, with Alaska, you can put Canada. Even though Canada is not part of the United States, it still borders that state. Okay. Um, all right, we're going to add a new slide. And this next slide is going to be the governor. Okay, governor of and your state. You are going to include who the governor is, like the name of the governor, and a photo. So I would type in governor of Utah. And it's Gary Herbert, okay, which you've probably seen him, especially recently on the news. He gets on daily and talks about um, the co coronavirus, COVID numbers, things like that, okay? All right, so his name's Gary Herbert. I'm going to go ahead and click on a photo so I can get it. Copy and paste it over here. Paste. And I'm going to stick it right there. And again, the name, Gary Herbert, okay? And this is actually his last term in office. So after this year, he has to, um, we're, we'll be electing a new governor for the state of Utah. All right, okay. Next one, we're going to go ahead and add a new slide. And this next slide, which is the last one you're going to do for today, is going to be the population. Okay, now I know that sometimes it's hard to find the population. Um, it might be kind of difficult to find it for Utah, but I'm going to try. The population is how many people live in your state. Okay, so if you don't know what the word population means, that's what it means. Okay, so I'm going to type in, whoops, population of Utah, Utah. And you don't have to include a picture here. You just have to include a number. Okay, and it's going to be pretty straightforward when you type it in it's usually right here at the top so for and it's not going to be for this year because they haven't actually like solidified those numbers yet so for utah we have 3.16 million people and that was as of 2018 so i'm going to put 3.16 million and then in parentheses i'm going to put 2018 because that was for that year and that is the data that we have so far okay make that a little bigger Okay, those are the slides you are doing today. Okay, so you're doing two famous people, the states bordering your state, the governor of your state, and the population of your state. Please remember, you do not have to share this with me um, until the very last day when we finish the very last slide, which will be 22. Okay, so you do not have to share this with me until then. Um, we are going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and let you guys work on this. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, it will automatically save so you don't have to worry about um, saving it or anything like that. Okay. If you need to go back and watch the other videos about what you've maybe missed, if you've missed a couple slides, you can definitely go back to those days and watch them. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.